I'm Patrick Tuttle, the real estate guy with Legacy Real Estate Services in El Paso, Texas. And it is Friday, February the 10th, and I've got a couple of questions for you on our FAQ Friday. So the first question that I've got is from Alex. Now, yes, I've still got to get my readers on. Alex asks, what should I avoid during the selling process? Well, a Alex, that is a very open-ended question. And um, the one thing that comes to mind, a couple weeks ago, I, I was showing a property here in West El Paso, and it was a, an unrepresented seller. For sale by owner is another word we would say for that. And this young couple had a beautiful home, but they toured us around and they showed us everything that was hot for them. They loved the tile, they loved the granite, they had this, they had that, none of which was what my buyer was looking for. None of it. So what they, we were very polite, we walked through the home and we listened to them. Overall, they could have chased us away because they were there. So the number one thing that I would say as a seller, if you're still living in the home, when there is a buyer that comes in the home, leave. Let your agent do their job in touring the buyer around the home. Let their agent, the buyer's agent, tour the home because that buyer's agent has a relationship with that buyer and knows what the hot buttons are. And unfortunately, this couple, they didn't have the right home for my buyer, but all of that couple's hot buttons, none of them hit the hot buttons of what my buyer was looking for. So number one, leave, let the buyer look at the home unobstructed, let them look at it from the standpoint that what they are looking for, see if it, if it fits their needs. If it does, great, they'll make an offer on it. If it doesn't, well, it's not the right home and they'll be the right buyer for you. So that's definitely the number one thing that I would have you do is just leave the home and allow the buyer to go through on their own. Now, our next question comes from Betty. And Betty asks, what should I look for in a rental property? Specifically, what area of town should I be looking for to keep a good prospective tenant? Well, Betty, that's a great question. And we do property management here at Legacy Real Estate Services. We've got about 250 owners and a little over 300 units that we manage. And what we typically look at is first your budget. So what is the budget that you can afford to invest either on a monthly basis if you're going to have a, ten, a, a mortgage on the property or if you've got cash that you're gonna put into it. Once we've got the budget, then we can help you select the area of town. Now the fact is that pretty much all areas of town have a good tenant prospect. And I've got rental properties in Central, I've got them in Northeast, and uh, I've got them over on the East side as well. These are my personal properties. So I'm comfortable with pretty much anywhere, but I look at that budget, number one, to say, if a tenant moved out, what am I comfortable covering if I've got a vacancy? And if I've got a vacancy very long, how can I get the most number of tenants back in there? Many people will look at where can I rent to the military? If it's the military, we're probably gonna go into Northeast El Paso, Northwest El Paso, or on the far east side, and there's specific zip codes that we would look at. 3836 on the, on the far east side, we'd look at 34 in the northeast, and we'd look at 11 and 12 in northwest El Paso. Maybe it's if I've only got $70,000 to invest, I might go into Central, and I would go with some of the lower rent. And the thing about that I love about the lower rent is that there are a lot of people that can afford five to 600 bucks a month and once they get into those properties, they stay there typically a long time. And I love that from an investment standpoint because it allows me as an owner to maximize my investment because the less turnover I have, the more equity I'm gaining in that property over time. So Betty, I hope that answers your question. If you've got specific questions, more of them, call me. You can reach me here at the office, 915 585-7777 or on the web, Patrick at PatrickTuttle.com and I'll be happy to answer your questions. If you are watching this and you've got other questions you'd like for me to address here on FAQ Friday, please give me a comment down below and I'll be happy to answer those on an upcoming episode. We do this pretty much every Friday and we'll be happy to answer your questions as well. So thanks for watching. Oh, wait a minute, one more thing. If you really like what we're doing, like and share this on Facebook so that your friends and family can see it too. God bless you, thanks for watching, and make it a great day. Bye-bye.